Right, that is the bolt fixed on bathroom door, so um, no more cheap thrills for you. I think the word you're looking for is trauma. Have a man a new bolt, I need counselling. Ah, you've just stared at the sun and been dazzled. Burn, more like. Main thing is, it's sorted now. I almost walked in on my dad the other day, now that really would have scarred me for life. <laughs> right, I'm off, see ya. See ya. Hey, finally, I'll go to the loo without holding the door. That means there's no reason why you can't move in now. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. I just wouldn't mind giving the place a bit of a makeover first. No girl wants to move into a bachelor pad. I've got used to it. And I won't want to make it unfamiliar for Bertie. He's grown up with it like this. Speaking of which, I better go and get him ready. I just, I'd like to put my own stamp on it. It's fine the way that it is. OK. You can change the subject, please. Ooh, you again. You know, there are folk here on the payroll that spend less time here than you do. What can I get you? Just a coffee. Far be it from me to turn away trade, but there's a perfectly good cafe over the road. I thought I'd check in with you after yesterday's nonsense with Teddy. I'm fine. Well, I wish I could say the same for Teddy. Ed says he's busting a gut to contact him. It's a mistake. And what's it got to do with you? Well, I can't help feeling partially responsible. I want things mended between them, and harassing Leo is not the right call. You need to tell him that. You can tell him yourself. Tell me what? I don't think you should go chasing Leo. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm sure he'll make contact soon enough when the time is right and not before, with both of you. And I am absolutely certain that you need to keep your nose out whilst it's still in situ. All right, all right, Teddy, there's no need for it. No, I'll decide what there's a need for. One minute past 11 and look who's propping up the bar. Oh, mind you, it's one of your short walk down the stairs, isn't it? There's nothing going on between us. There never was. Apart from when you had your tongue down his throat. How many times? She made a mistake. Not as big as the one my son made. OK, you said enough. Oh, here he is. Knight in shining armour. What happened, it needs a bit of WD-40, old fella, cos it is starting to creak. But if you do want to fight for what passes for her honour, then bring it on, cos I am right here. Hey, I, I don't need any man to fight my battles, and I don't stand for aggro in my pub, so sling your hook. Now! Where's Jenny? Trying to take her mind off things with the books. It's a nice idea, but I give her 20 minutes personally. Right. Well, have another coffee, please. You don't overdo it. You'll be having palpitations. I already am, after that run-in with Teddy. You know, he needs to calm down and be patient. You know, Leo will get in touch again, but you know, it might be on some sort of significant date. Such as? I don't know, like a, a birthday or an anniversary, you know, something that matters. Well, nothing would have mattered more to Leo than his mum's birthday. She would have been 50 last Sunday, Jenny was telling me. Him and Teddy used to light a candle for her every year. So if he was going to call, it would have been then. I'll bring your coffee over. Thanks. you wading in like that. We had one ill-advised moment and there's nothing more to it. I guess I've just got that typical male brain always trying to fix things. Not the typical male brain I know. Hey, now, look, if you've come back for round two... No. 
No, I, uh, I just went for a walk. Brew over the road, actually. The girl behind the counter drew a little dove a piece in my coffee, so I took that as a sign. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said some of the things that I did. Apology accepted. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I wasn't apologizing to you, but I don't want to fight either. All I want is my son back. You and me both. What if he never forgives me? What if the row that we had is the last time I ever speak to him? He needs space, that's all. Yeah, thank you, Oprah. Space is the last thing he's gonna get. Leo needs to be with the people who love him. And we need to show him that before things fester anymore. We don't know where he is. Well, then we find him. Look, I'm knocking off in an hour. How about we, we meet the bistro for some lunch and a council of war? OK. OK, right you are. We will find him, Teddy. By hook or by crook, we will find him. <laughs>